right, this is going to be my tutorial for Lab 15 homework. So first we're going to start off with an extrude off of the top plane. And we're just going to make a box and I'm going to have it use the midpoints so we have those little construction lines. <clears throat> and then we're going to do 4 by 7. Pretty nice. And you can see that we already have the construction lines, so it's super easy for me to come here, grab that point, and it's going to be a diameter of 2. Same thing on this side. In practice, you should probably only dimension one and then set them equal, but that doesn't really matter for now. We want to make that diameter of one. We're going to come up here and we're going to make one line that comes up like that. And then we're going to have a second one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here where I want it to start. I'm going to hover over this other line and I'm going to drag it down here. And you see how it automatically connects to be a parallel line, which is super cool. Which means all we have to do is dimension this last thing from here to here. And that's going to be roughly 1.5. And we have a fully defined sketch, so we can exit out of there. Now we're just going to select some contours. So let's first do these little semicircles on the sides. Those are going to come up one inch. We're going to do another extrude, and that's going to be off the same sketch, so we can just share it by clicking on it. We're going to go up on these sides, and it's going to go up uh, one, two, three. And finally, we're going to do another extrude on this sketch, and it's going to be 2.5. Cool. Looks good. So we can go ahead and save that. Lab 15 homework tutorial. And we're going to make a drawing from the part. And we're going to click OK. Um, I'll just, I just like doing B because it's a little bit bigger, so we get a bit more size room to play around with. OK, I and mean, it's from the picture, it looks like it wants a, actually, yeah, top view. And then it wants a you know, side. And then that's all we need. A section view. And it wants it to be horizontal, so that's good. We can snap it to the middle. And then press OK and drag it up. OK, looks good. And let's see. For this one, it wants hidden lines. OK. And that is how I did Lab 15 homework. I hope this helped.